the Super Bowl. Woo! Y'all watch it? Were y'all there? Any of y'all? Oh, that's love. Because I wasn't. I was at the crib chilling. Actually, I went to Keyshawn Johnson's Mahenta Tequila Tasting Super Bowl event. That was fun. A lot of people there. Free food, free drinks. So if it's free, it's me. I was in the building. Uh, family with me. MJ on my lap. We watched this game. It was an amazing game. And taking it all in, I was like, dog, this was what the NFL wanted. This is what the NFL needed. Two number one seeds going against each other, and it's going down to the last second. Great, great, great. But as we do, we beat up something to the point where we got to pick a side, got to be divided, got to find which side you want. So tell me where you are. Did the Chiefs win it? Did the Eagles lose it? Or did the refs blow it? Mm, I think I hear the most that the refs blew it. Let's talk about what Bill Belichick told everybody and told me. More games are lost in the NFL than won. More games are lost than won. You know what that means? Your miscues, your mishaps, all the things that you did to beat yourself. That's what loses games in the NFL and actually wins games for the other team, right? So if you look at this game from that perspective, all of a sudden you can't blame the refs. Yeah, that last one minute and 54 defensive holding call changed everything, didn't it? Or was it the 65-yard punt return? No, no, no. Or was it the fumble by Jalen Hurst as he was switching the ball? No, 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 no. Like, it's not how many good plays you make. It's how few bad plays you make, especially in high leverage games, high stakes poker. And we saw the pressure right there. And Jalen Hurst balled out of control. Patrick Mahomes balled out of control, especially with the compromised ankle. He didn't have the touchdowns uh, necessarily. Like Jalen Hurst had four of them things, three running. We saw him. He was balling. But what it came down to was who made the critical mistakes and who didn't. That penalty, you should call that penalty. Why? Because he held him. You can't hold Juju like that. Juju want to be. You can't hold him down like that. And I don't care when it happens. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Because that can affect the game both ways. You don't call it. Kansas City's sitting there like, dog, that's a first down. That keeps us going. We could get some points off of this, which they did. But if you're the Eagles, you're sitting there like, don't call that. It's high leverage right now. Swallow your whistle. Man, I ain't swallowing jack. I'm going to swallow my whistle for. You did something wrong. Got to call it. But you know what you could have you could have done all this time? Did a lot of the other things right. And those few mistakes, and I'm not trying to harp on them. I'm just trying to show you, magnify how critical a mistake is, especially when it's the ultimate game. So that's what it came down to, up 24-14 at half. Be real. We were watching the halftime show thinking, maybe this is going to be a blowout. You know, everybody was – if you're an Eagles fan, you were pumped to see Rihanna. you were a Chiefs fan, you were at the drawing board. You didn't even watch that halftime show. You're like, dog, we got to fix this. And Andy Reid came out fixing it. Goodness. Y'all forget Andy Reid went to those five straight NFC Championship games, drawing it up, had Westbrook, had Big Nab, had T.O. for five seconds, and would draw it up. Well, not only did Patrick Mahomes get drafted to a playoff team, they've been to five straight AFC Championship games. You got the GOAT in the making. Yep, I said it. Patrick Mahomes on a team that was already playoff built? Dog. It's been silly. This is the dynasty in the making as we're watching the GOAT in the making. And that's me eating the crow because I thought it was going to take a little more time than this. I thought it was a roller coaster ride. I thought that even Patrick Mahomes had hit a wall. Thought he had went through regression. All the above. Yep, yep, yep. Hater, whatever you want to call me. Oh, but um, I give you your flowers, bro. <laughs> you are a monster. And Patrick Mahomes went compromised. Let me say it. Maybe a better quarterback because he's so talented, uber talented, that when he's feeling good, he just throws the ball anywhere. He just flings it anyway. He just says, forget the technique. Sidearm, underarm, <laughs> overarm. I mean, what the hell? He does it all. But when you compromise, all of a sudden you got to focus in, right? You know how it goes. They say if you lose one of your senses, one of your five senses, the others are heightened. I think that's the same thing with Patrick Mahomes. Like when he's hurt, the ankle's hurt. And he's been here before with that high ankle sprain. Oh. It's just going to make everything else get better. Focus in more on everything else, especially his technique. So he's more fundamentally sound, actually, when he's hurt. 
man, that ain't good for the league. <laughs> so you think you're the Eagles, you're going to go hurt them. Oh, y'all ain't do that. Y'all blaming the refs. Did y'all get a sack? Not one sack in that game. You can't have an injured quarterback who's a goat in the making and not get to him once. That's a problem. So Chiefs win it? Yeah, they did. Those second half adjustments, they won it. Did the Eagles lose it? Yeah, they did. <laughs> I mean, being real, the fumble, the kick return, you gave up 65-yarder. Obviously, the holding at the wrong time. Not the right time, the wrong time. It all adds up. And it's a game of inches, and we're splitting hairs right here. So I can't blame the refs, even though I know a lot of people out there are trying to do it. It makes you just think like, damn, Patrick Mahomes so good. Two rings out of three appearances. Played a good game finally, so he got that monkey off his back. First two Super Bowl appearances. Not Patrick Mahomes necessarily. And this one you could say, oh, it wasn't his best game, but it was a good game, right? Went out there and balled and got the victory. How many is he going to win? Tom Brady just retired, y'all. I mean, just retired again. He just retired and already we're like, that seven looks like it's in danger. <laughs> like, Mahomes got two already. He ain't even 27. Huh? Man, it's going to be a problem. This dude is special. And you're looking at him, with Hall of Fame resume. Look at it right now. Five years, two Super Bowl championships, two Super Bowl MVPs, two-time MVP of the league, five Pro Bowls, and twice first-team All-Pro. Yeah. This sucker <laughs> ain't playing no games. But, you know, he went against another quarterback who ain't playing games. Jalen Hurst was balling. Jalen Hurst was balling. That last play, <laughs> let's just hope he slipped because he did have to change his cleats, cleats before. Let's just hope that um, that $800,000 sod that the NFL spent their money on that took two years, that was a waste of money. Let's just go to natural turf. I don't know why everybody be acting like, oh, you're going to get hurt if you go on turf. Who are you going to get hurt if you play football? <laughs> it ain't about the turf. Man, go to turf and stop spending $800,000 on some damn messed up sod. Some old bad beach volleyball looking stuff. It just didn't work. Guys were changing their cleats. Guys were slipping all around. Maybe he slipped when he threw that last Hail Mary. You know how you supposed to spell Hail Mary. H-A-I-L. H-E-L-L. It was a hell no, it ain't a Hail Mary. He threw that ball, that ball like 30 yards. Like, come on, Jalen, do better. But great game by him. Great game all around. I think both sides play well. I mean, they play well enough to win against any other team, but you're going against the best. So those miscues came back to haunt them. 